Ah, oh, young people. They were the future once. We now know that the voter turnout among 18 to 24-year-olds in the EU referendum was double what was initially reported. It's thought that more than 70% of them chose to remain. But as usual, young people ended up on the losing side. As part of Generation X, I'm actually old enough to remember when being young was a reason for optimism. What's amazing is despite the fact that all of us, including everyone at this table, have been part of this minority group, some of us more recently than others, may I add. <laughs> Great pictures, by the way. Uh, today, young people are one of the most marginalised groups in society. They're discriminated against and treated even worse than women or ethnic minorities. It's illegal to pay someone less money for the same job because of their gender or race, yet a young person consider themselves lucky to be employed, let alone expect to be paid the same as an older colleague. It's time to end the discrimination the same way we've dealt with it for other groups. We need quotas, forcing companies to employ young people at entry-level jobs, but also at board level, so they're involved in the decisions being made about their future. Well, I, the, 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 the first thing is those pictures. Uh, Greg Dyke, since when did you look like Rasputin? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, thought, truly, I thought truly. that was Fleetwood. I thought it look was someone this. in a yes, yeah, no. oh, I think, oh, I, think I looked older then than I do now, really. Was and it, that was 40 years ago. Was it Mick Fleetwood? Yeah, yeah. It was extraordinary. I know. I know. I don't, yes, well, it was. Um, did I you mean, not have a youth then, Nick? In a soup kitchen. In a soup kitchen. And, Nick, before you start, can we see yours again? Yeah, there we go. I think you look like a young Christopher Hitchens. Yeah, you look like Christopher Hitchens. I thought you were going to say Christopher Biggins. No, <laughs> no, no. You look like the Hitch. The Hitch. Oh, the there hitch. we go. Those had the... a soft spot for the Hitch. Yeah, those, I love the those Hitch. Were the... Do you I'm know, sorry, go on. I thought, hello, this is going to be a really happy oh, pledge God. because I'm kind of agreeing well. with Ms. Sarpong, but as you're I said not. once before, no, Ms. Sarpong has gone totally wrong. <laughs> and let me tell you what, so you're wrong. okay, sort of, sort of, board level. Have you gone raving mad? No, I have not. This is not. a generation of We can't, can't even get, get women in boards. <laughs> we, exactly. I want diversity in boards in general. They can't even get down to Tesco or Astro <laughs> or Sainsbury's on time. You now want them sitting, having executive power decisions. Is it? Is you really that tough to be young in this country? No, it's not. It's fantastic. There are great opportunities out there. And I would argue, and I'm delighted you brought up that more voted, and I'm delighted that more voted, and I think it's really important mm. that we share that statistic. But much as with life, it is therefore the taking. And while we should, if there are disadvantaged groups, people with certain ethnicity, people with certain faith, people with mental health issues, your average young person, life is there for the taking. Get out and grab it and you'll have a ball. But don't you think... Uh where young people are concerned, we're only ever talking about them when they're doing something bad. No. You know? Oh, no. no, yes, we are. Look at the kids we celebrated at 2012 and hopefully 2016. Yeah, and well, well, in 2016, Look we're looking at kids that are rioting. We're not looking at kids that are doing well. We celebrated the Olympic team, and they're mostly young, but some of them are very, very young people. And also, of we celebrate back to them. the referendum, if we had allowed 16 to 18 year olds, we would have allowed 16 to 17 year olds to oh, vote, we would this have had another 1.6 million well, people that if could you have lost. participated. If we're going to go back to the referendum. Let Go me just have a quick please. dig at you two because do you remember? Do you remember? In two weeks ago, yes, you gave young people a hard time for not turning out. All of us, old or young or in the middle, had a choice and an opportunity to vote. The older people could be bothered to do so. The younger people could not be asked. If you don't want your future ruined, get off your backside, get your pen or your, your pencil, get yourself down to the voting at booth and make a difference. It's not an entitlement that you have this future. You have to work for it and you have to make it happen. Michelle, well, I love and, that girl. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I tell you, and they did precisely that. Well, how do you the know The figures now, well, the figures, the figures are in. No. Mm -mm. Well, the figures clear. then were dubious, right. and the figures now are a bit better, and the polls it was suggest... What, 36%? Right. No, so we think it was 64%. 64%. But then the, the older, thing. the oldies, 90%. The key I know. Don't forget. Thing, how do you know? You said, your statement was, we know that this was inaccurate, and that this was double. How do you know that well, it was according double? According to the LSE. Exactly. I'm according not being funny, LSE. right? So I many assume young they know people. You, well, you don't like so experts. You could so uh, join Michael Gove. So many young people <laughs> have come out and you said that, that they're the against Brexit. So, 
If the LSC or if anyone wanders into a room of young people after the event and says to them, I think it was 2,000 people that they asked, 2,000 young people, did you vert and how did you vert? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure that all of them would sit there oh, and be strictly on, honest. No, don't, what do you mean? Right. Come on. Yeah. They wouldn't have sit there and they go, yeah, I verted and yes, I verted, I, remain. I we think, don't know what they did I and what think, they didn't. actually... I would love to be their age today. Yeah, yeah. Because if you yeah. look at the... I mean, what's really? happening... Really? Yes. Can't be oh, yes. Last week, they had yes. you were saying the no, opposite. No, I'm all for... Two weeks ago, I'm, you were saying no, the exact opposite. What I was opposite. saying was I think that we give too much to old people in this country. We need to give something more to young people. But actually, mm. today, for a lot of young people, what used to be you had to do at 22, you now do at 32. So the 20s have become a wonderfully elongated period of youth. Mm. Because, by and large, women don't have kids till they're 30, till they're over 30s now, mm. most of them. Not, yeah. not the av I, I think agree. the average is now over 30. It is. And what you see, people having a wonderful life for 10 years before they have to take a... But and jobs, I mean, when I left school, you know, you, you, I got a job and got sacked and they said, my, the pressure was to so find another job and get a career. Life, really, didn't you? <laughs> 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 a job and getting sacked, Greg. <laughs> it does, I have done it on many occasions. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, no if we look that. at Parliament, the average age of Parliament is 50. Sure. You know, how very, can that very be? young, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right, very, very young. young. Well, well, I can well, tell you how it can be, cos they're not choosing to engage, June. You talked that's about, not true. You talked, to, no. you talked about putting quotas, forcing it's, people to hire young people. The really people. interesting thing is how few by-elections there are anymore. And why? Because people in Parliament... Bed blockers. They live, yes, yeah. they live longer. Yeah. Mm. They live longer and you can stay there forever. Yeah. But isn't it, it's 54% of 16 to 24-year-olds, I think, that are registered to vote. And correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I did some research, and that's what I what I learned through that research. Fifty four percent. Now, what you do when you've got a group that are How not did represented? Sixty four percent vote in the referendum. Then I don't, oh, well, I don't know. This is yeah. Be. I'm talking about the people that have registered to vote. So obviously, this is a percentage. Right, and lost. the reality is, we don't know how many people, young or old or whatever, voted because we don't track those figures. So anything we have will only be guesswork. But my point is. Mm. If you think that somebody is unrepresented, whether it's women, young people, whatever, you don't fix that by forcing the representation of that group. Sometimes you no, have you to. No, like, you do. I'm, I'm in favour of a firm. What you do, I, I hate there are quotas. many incidences where it's worked. There's no, no I hate them. You, you can't what you do. Because you're, you're black, or you got the job because people. you're a kid, or you no. got the job because you're a woman. Do you, genu do you think with that, do you genuinely believe without all women shortlists? Oh, I think they were a great idea. You wouldn't have had you'd have as many women as you've got now. It changed. It changes. It changed you politics. need them. Well, you look at the state the... your party's in now. <sighs> Well, you're you're, that's you're that's advocating that. That's because of the men. That's because of the women. <sighs> well, I'm oh, sorry, Anne Marie. Oh, so young, I thought she was young young she's people. helping to fix it. <laughs> like, I think you're young Jesus people Christ. leave school at the moment. They leave school as consumers. They're engaged in music, clothes, all the rest. Of it. They need to be leaving school as engaged citizens. All, they need to understand. Hold on, let me finish. They need to understand. They need to be registering to vote. They can influence things, but they have to lift up off their chair and they have to do it in real world, not in social media world. And well, you change Michelle, the I'm going to interrupt you. With engagement, I'm going to interrupt rules. you because.